Our next guest has gone from Disney Channel star to fashion icon, pop superstar, and the newest cover girl. Please welcome the multi-talented Zendaya. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank That's you. beautiful. You look great, and I thank love the you. shoes. And so, pop of color. congratulations on the cover girl thing. That's thank really you. cool. Thank you. I'm very excited. It's a very good family to be a part of. Yes, it is. It's a fun family to be a part of. And I, I didn't see you at the kids' uh, choice, but I know you were there, and we kind of mm -hmm. missed each other. But um, I did see your acceptance speech, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, will you remind people, tell people what you said? Um, well, basically what I said was, um, me, I've been making ch children's programming for a long time. And for me, a lot of people ask me, like, why are you still on Disney Channel? Why do you still do that? And to me, it's because I, I still have a responsibility as this young person that I am to create positive programming for these young people. I have little kids that look up to me, and I think of that as a responsibility. And I know there's so many parents that come up to me and just hearing them say thank you for being that for my daughter or for my son and being that inspiration for them, that, that is, that's everything to me. So that's a big deal. I take that. Very, yeah, good for you. Seriously. Good for you. <laughs> well, because you're doing a lot of it, we'll, we'll talk about the next thing that you're taking on, but, it, but you know, a lot of people want to move on once they've established themselves, and I think it's really cool, and I, I think it's really cool that you understand that there are a lot of kids that only watch the Disney Channel, and it's a really important thing to have role models, so I'm happy you're doing that. Thank How you. have you managed to stay out of the... Uh, young child actor going bad. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I got you know, to give it up to my parents. I'm really lucky to have the parents that I have. And, you know, they just have always instilled in me those core values that I think I have carried with me through everything. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so I think I give it up to them. I give it up to my family. I have that barrier and that protection around me, which, you know, I am very appreciative of and thankful of. A lot of people don't have that. So, you know, I'm thankful Is that your mom it. right there? That is my mom. Flexing her muscles? Yeah. <laughs> Is she doing that because she's working out, or what's the reason for that? Actually, yes. She's like a spin queen now. She's all about wow. spinning. Wow, that's she's fantastic. She just spins every morning, and it's like crazy. So she's all into fitness now, and it's really cool. So. And uh, are you? You're still living at home, right? Yes. And is that to save money, or? Uh... Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, that's yeah. a perk. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? It is. Um, but you know, for me, th there are a lot more upsides than there are on downsides because me and my parents, I feel like we have. You know, we've set boundaries. You know, we have territories. Once I hit 18, I was like, guys, you know, I need you to just give me a little, you know, a little space just mm -hmm. so I can, you know, be a teenager, be grown a little bit. Um, so they, you know, they respect my space, I respect their space. But at the end of the day, you know, like, I don't have to wake myself up. Uh, I got a free ride, you know what I mean, whenever yeah. I want. So, I mean, why would I want to give that up? Yeah. <laughs> when you say you don't have to wake yourself up, someone you don't have an alarm clock? My mom calls me. Your mother calls My you to wake you up? Because she's up spinning anyway. Mm -hmm. So she calls me after her spin class. is like, yo, get up, and I'm ready to go. Wow. <laughs> it's great. It's great. We have a system. We have yeah, a system. Yeah, it sounds like a good system. <laughs> well, oil machine. And, and so uh, what I was talking about when I said we'll talk about what we have coming up, you're going to be in the new Spider-Man. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Can you say what you're playing or no? I can't say anything can't, else other than that I'm going to be in it. When do you start that? I have no idea. <laughs> I, we, I don't even know that, to be completely honest. But, yeah. You know, it's very exciting. Like, when it comes to the acting space, yeah. um, I'm basically unknown. You know, yeah. I've never been in a mo real movie before or anything like that. So I had to start from the bottom like anyone else and audition and audition and audition and break down those walls because a lot of people do have that preconceived notion of who I am based off, you know, the previous things I've done. So you've right. got to break that down and really go hard and just put in the work, take all the meetings, take all the auditions, you know, start from the beginning. Yes, yes. We're going to take a break and you don't have a boyfriend, right? No. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help guide you to the person that you should find. Okay. It's, it's, it's a pretty scientific way that I do it and, it, and it may work out that you end up with this person. You may not, but it'll, it'll help us all know what you're looking for. All right. All right. We'll be back. So uh, you don't have a boyfriend, as I mentioned, and uh, I thought it would be fun to play a game. We narrow it down to who you should be dating. It's called Who'd You Rather. Okay. We, we made the game around that, that tune, because we thought, what can we do with that tune? Um, OK, let's start with, okay. we have Nick Jonas or Joe Jonas. And you pick one that you prefer over the other. 
What? Yep, you have to pick one. Listen here. Well, they're both super cool. Yes, I know. Just That's the thing, they're both super dope. Oh my god, this is hard. I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna randomly pick any weenie money monkeys. That is why I owe you And blue, Nick. Okay, well the game's almost over. You're not gonna have time. All right, Just Nick. every single Okay, one. now it's Nick and Drake. Drake. All right, Drake and Leonardo. Leo. Okay, Leo. Michael B. Jordan. Now that's a hard I one. I know. Y'all saw Creed with the- I know. The, whew. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, a mistake with Leo, though. All right, Leo and Justin. I just saw his concert last night, man. Still gonna go with Leo, though. All right. <laughs> Leo and Jaden. That's the homie, but Le it's Leonardo right, DiCaprio, Leo, people. Leo. And Leonardo DiCaprio. And Harry. All right. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leo. Jason. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leo. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. <All> right. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. All right, I think he just wins. He's yeah, gonna he win. just wins. You're gonna say he's gonna win everything. Absolutely. All right, that, that's DiCaprio. who you'll marry. Right. I mean, so, <laughs> once, once you've had time to get to know each other, we will perform the wedding on the show. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Casey Undercover airs weekly on Disney Channel, and her new album will be out later this year.